Hey, dear saints, let's talk about the fourth commandment. Honor your father and mother. What does this mean? We should fear and love God so that we do not despise or anger our parents and other authorities, but honor them, serve and obey them, love and cherish them. This is the fourth commandment, and right here in the fourth commandment, we start the second table of the law. The first table is God giving his gifts directly to us. The second table is how do we take these gifts that God has given to us in our baptized life, how do we use them now to love our neighbor? And the very first thing that God puts in place for that is our parents, other authorities over us to guide and direct us through God's word to love our neighbor. But how do we react to that? Our old Adam inside of us reacts terribly. We, as the commandment says, we despise. Do you know what that means? We could take that word out and we could put hate in there. We hate our parents because they won't let us do what my old sinful nature wants to do. We push back against them because they won't let us have the freedom that we want. The commandment is very clear. Do not despise, do not hate, do not anger your parents because these are God's authorities over you for a good purpose, to love you, to guide you, and to continue to help you see God's gifts that you can give to your neighbor. Do you see, dear saints, this commandment is all about God continuing to guide us so that we can show others his love. Do not anger or despise or hate your parents. But the commandment calls us back then to say, we should love them. We should honor them. Do you know what honor is? Well, we could put the word in that Luther uses a little later. Honor your parents means love your parents, respect your parents, obey your parents, listen to your parents. Because God has put these gifts in place to help and to guide you. If you want to see some very good examples of parents, of children loving their parents, look at the first chapter of Ruth when Naomi has her, her daughter-in-law, Ruth, and she listens to her. If you want to see how a son goes bad, look at 2 Samuel where Absalom tries to steal the kingdom from his father. All right, one final thing. Where's the gospel? Right here in the fourth commandment. Well, the gospel is hidden. In the second table of the law, the gospel is somewhat hidden in how we love our neighbor. Because now our Lord is going to use you as you work in the world to show his love to the neighbors around us. Helping, honoring, respecting our parents so that they might continue to love and guide us. Remember your baptism. Live in your baptism. Go in his peace. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.